Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where I have a very special video for you all today where we are going to be going through my altcoin of choice where we can be expecting massive potential moves on this altcoin. Honestly, I'm really, really, really excited for this one. I really know you're looking forward to it already because obviously I posted over on Twitter, are you interested in this one? And well, there was an overwhelming response of yes. <laughs> Pretty much absolutely everybody wants to see this. So I'm really looking forward to making this one for you. I think you're going to absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. The technical analysis is on point and, you know, we are approaching this video with a big smile on our faces, happy, excited, feeling blessed for what we have right now. And without further said ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get into what we absolutely love, what we're all here for, and that is the technical analysis and that is the charts. Um, obviously, I want to refer to, first of all, you know, some of the opportunities that have occurred over the past few days. For example, this is not the altcoin that I'm going to cover today, but using this as a nice example, this is obviously Sushi. And uh, yeah, I mean, this is what you have to think. There has been, over the past two days, many altcoins, including Bitcoin, have obviously dropped heavily. Some of the altcoins pulling back anywhere between, you know, 20 to 30, coming on some of them 40%. Yeah, there has been major pullbacks in the market. And this is very important that you understand. There are two types of trader in this market, okay? What happens on these red days? You have the over-leveraged traders with no risk management. That when those pullbacks are happening, they are fearful, they are scared, they are getting liquidated in the worst case scenario, and they are just stuck like a deer in a headlight thinking, oh my God, what is happening? you know, crying for manipulation, crying for X, Y, and Z reasons. That's trader number one. And then you have trader number two, which is a champion, which is excited and happy to see the pullbacks. Why? Because they are the times of opportunity. It's like I said, now is not the time to be scared. There is serious money to be made. These pullbacks are opportunities and opportunity does not strike so often. So when it does, you cannot be scared. You cannot be crying. You cannot be regretful for the move that has happened. You have to react to that move and you have to absolutely crush that chart. And obviously this is an example just to show you the absolute opportunities that we were granted. This is obviously Sushi here taking our Fibonacci retracement from the low up to the high on that move. As you can see, it pulled back directly, directly into that CC Fibonacci retracement. That was for a 37% pullback. And as we can see from the low of that Fibonacci retracement, Sushi in itself bounced over 30% to the upside. So this is just an example of one of the many opportunities that we have been granted over the past few days with these pullbacks. I mean, Bitcoin itself bounced over 10% in the end from that four hour level of support. So, I mean, whether it's Bitcoin, whether it's altcoins, the opportunities on these days are, are just crazy massive. The amount of money here is just, it's insane, okay? But how do you manage to get to these levels of making use of the opportunities? It's, of course, by being, first of all, good with your risk management, yeah? And then second of all, having a plan and getting ready for a scenario should we drop to the downside. Definitely was ready for this. And as I'm going to cover in today's, altcoin video. The one that I'm going to be going through here is, in fact, Tezos. Tezos, there's still absolutely great opportunity on this coin. Um, this is a coin, a disclaimer here, covered on the 20th of August inside of the group where I went through two altcoins with accumulation schematics. The other altcoin is still for the members only. I'm not going to release it in this video. If you want to see that one, obviously you can go on to the contenders. But this video, I'm going to cover what happened here since we went through Tezos and what is going to happen next. Okay, so back on the 20th, when I was releasing this, we had not seen any pump to the upside. There was no pump yet to the upside. And when we come over to the Tezos chart, as we can see from that day of making that video, there was a pump to the upside of 76%. 76%. That is crazy amount of money to be made. But now let's add on some of our technical analysis. Let's start to make sense of this chart. And that's the only way how we can understand what is to come. Yeah. So what is to come next? Well, there's a few things that we can bear in mind here. Obviously, yes, we have this lovely, oops, don't want to move phase B. We have this lovely accumulation schematic. 
okay and we obviously have our higher term time frame levels to be aware of here one thing that i want to hide really quickly is this so we can just actually see the chart but this is obviously what we were looking at last week with our levels marked out what i think you will find very interesting is the fact uh let's just uh, remove this a second this is obviously the interesting part this fractal so if we just add on this fractal a second and we will temporarily hide the other bits of technical analysis here just to clean up the chart a little bit okay you will see we have this really really nice fractal and so fractals are basically prior price action uh, that we are expecting to see in the future as we know um, history doesn't repeat exactly but it definitely does rhyme and so if we can get fractals laid over current price action combined with our other areas of technical analysis we have a very strong thesis and we have a very high probability trade and in trading we're always talking about probabilities there is never a guarantee never 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 is there a guarantee in trading yeah we trade the probabilities and if we can get high probabilities in our favor well we can have extreme confidence yeah extreme confidence and so what we had back here was I had recognized this beautiful, beautiful fractal. Not only were we expecting the rise on the fractal, but also the fact I had found the accumulation schematic, also the fact we were holding support, also the fact we had massive bullish divergences. It's just all of it's coming together that this is very likely to rise. And this is the beauty here. This is the absolute beauty. You see the rise that we're expecting, which of course is about 70% rise to the upside. It's the area of resistance that we've identified here on the Fibonacci speed fan into the CC, onto the weekly onto our key level of resistance we knew this was a major level of you know major level where we're likely to reject and if we come over to the charts we can see when we add everything back on here how it literally went exactly as predicted here you can see when we add back on that technical analysis and i will hide the bar pattern temporarily so you can see from the rise of that fractal we came up into our confluence of resistance exactly like we're expecting for the rejection Okay, so we reject off the CC, the 0.75, the weekly and the key level of resistance, all of those resistances coming together to hold us back exactly as predicted. So this fractal is absolutely still in play, isn't it? Okay, so we obviously had our selling climax, our automatic rally, our secondary test, and now we are within this fractal moving sideways. So this is the, this is the point where we have to think now, what is the most likely probability that is going to be happening next? Well, let me explain to you naturally i personally have been accumulating not only spot but also leveraged positions on tezos this is the current viewpoint as you know from last night's contenders live stream where i explained this pretty well we can hold longs while simultaneously holding shorts for example you can be times a hundred long here from forty four thousand dollars well well simultaneously holding shorts for example from fifty two thousand so you can be short on an asset or simultaneously long. This is the same on Tezos for me. I have the long entry from $2.60, which is obviously a massive profit. But then simultaneously, I am holding this short now on Tezos from $5.50. And this is where you might be wondering, why are you short on Tezos if you think this is an accumulation schematic, if you're expecting higher? Why are you shorting Tezos if this is the case? Well, let me explain to you, ladies and gentlemen. We came up into massive high term time frame resistance and for me this is when i took this original short position obviously i'm trading this on bybit against tether but i am using for reference the bitcoin pair okay this is the way that i always trade if that doesn't make sense again you can go over to chartchampions.com sign up as a contender and the education there that you'll get will include why i do this um you know it's explained in a whole like two hours of video so um Basically, I'm using this as our reference, and we came up into big high term time frame resistance. I actually made six million on that rise, which is just insane amount of money to make. Let's be honest, in such a short period of time, that was six million made in a few days. It was absolutely crazy. And this is the thing if you do not take profits, somebody else will take those profits for you. What do we mean by this? If I'm not locking in my profits, if I'm not taking profit where I knew there was resistance, Somebody else is going to take my profit for me. E.g. someone else is going to take the reverse trade. My, my entry will, you know, this is, this is pulled back already from that rise. We have already pulled back 33% of the move. So if I had not taken profits, yeah, you know, I'd be in a little bit of profit, of course, but nowhere near the amount that I should have been in. 
and you know what is this down to it's about greed people do not like to take profits even though they know it's resistance because it could keep going up it could go up even more this is the wrong perspective to be in we knew this was resistance we have to take profit there and then guess what we have this lovely pullback where we can make the next informed decision are we looking for the bounce next or are we actually looking for continued move to the downside well this is the beauty that we had here of if we take our fibonacci from the low to the high of the impulse we can see we pulled back into the cc fibonacci retracement and even from the low here of the cc fibonacci retracement not the low of well it's just the low of the overall move was a bounce of 16 percent and the low of the cc fibonacci retracement which was also in confluence of all these sr flips is obviously this has moved up about 12 13 percent naturally that is a really good sculpt trade yeah 13 percent 13% is pretty amazing, let's be honest. Um, so there's a few things now that we're going to be looking at because there is the potential that we have a spring here. And what is a spring in accumulation schematic? A spring in accumulation is basically, well, you know, is, is, is basically this, that price would make its way down and take the overall lows. This would be very bullish overall, but of course it would shake a lot of people out. Where you basically, your spring would be, you lose the lows and then you, you know, you reclaim the lows and you come back in and that's when you look for your, you know, your next sign of strength coming on here. So this is why, personally, uh, I originally obviously took the short because we were into resistance. And now this is why I still hold it, just because I've seen now the bounce off the CC. That makes me very happy, don't get me wrong. But I am definitely still aware that while we cannot reclaim this key level of resistance, there, of course, now is the potential to get this to get a spring. OK, what would kind of invalidate getting a spring? Well, if we reclaim come back here and reclaim our, our key level slash the weekly, that would be a very big, for me, early sign of strength where we can be in phase C. Yeah, we would be in phase C early. Um, so for me, this is very, very, very important. Obviously, the if we are following the fractal, which has been, I mean, this is just, just think about this. Yeah, look at the fractal and look at the price action that occurred. It literally was an absolute mimic absolute mimic of price action so if this is to still be the case we obviously can expect to pull back to at least these lows before the next increase in price and there may be still down for the spring eg there's still a long time left of this to play out you know we're talking months still left potentially okay that is under the thesis that we do not come and reclaim this weekly um early if that's the case hey i'll close my short i'll continue the long and, you know, I'm, I'm more, more than more than happy to just do that. You know, if I get another opportunity to load back up at a spring, well, my, my life would be very nice. Let's just say that. Um, <laughs> but at the end of the day, um, you know, I know what I my bias and what I say makes no difference at the end of the day. I have to trade the charts and I have to trade what is happening. Yeah. And that's why I'm, I'm ready for if we move down to get a spring, I'm ready for if we move up and reclaim the weekly. Overall, we have to acknowledge that nevertheless, if we reclaim these levels, we are going to be looking for moves to the monthly, weekly. And obviously, this is a very potential bullish move that we can see to the upside. We obviously are likely to see friction around our last key level of resistance here. But what if we are managing to get over that, one would, one would say the accumulation here is finished and we are expecting that big sign of strength. So for me, it's it's a very key time on the chart. Of course, we cannot come here and say, go YOLO into this uh, because that would be very silly. We are, it, it, we are an indecisive point. There's times of massive opportunity. That was a few weeks ago when I made my members video because we managed to get the 70% rise to the upside. Now we are halfway back in the, you know, from this low to high, we've, we've come back almost 66% of the of the increase. We would now be sitting around the 50% mark. So you're 50% from the low and 50% from the highs, e.g. you're right in the middle of the chart. This does not offer the same opportunity as you had two weeks ago. So that one has to acknowledge that uh, and, and, and not ape into this like somebody with no risk management, <laughs> okay? No plans, no setups. I think now requires a bit of patience. OK, we can wait for the spring or you can wait for some reclaims of our resistance levels and then play it from there. We obviously know our target to the upside. This is fairly clear. It's our monthly. OK, and we can we can run through this area fairly quickly. We might see friction, of course, up at around uh, zero, you know, zero dot zero 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 two sats because we have this area of consolidation. This could be an area of friction. But nevertheless, this is over this is hundreds of percent up from where we would be when reclaiming these levels. So we're not going to really mind too much about that. But, um, you know, our overall target, of course, would have to be the monthly at that moment in time. So yeah, that that that's kind of the way that I'm approaching this 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 altcoin. And as I mentioned, 
during that video, I did go through other altcoins, um, which I believe have great strength. I mean, if you would want to see a public free video of that, you can smash that like button right now. And I'll say 2,500 likes, and I will do another video like this, explaining my thesis, explaining the accumulation, explaining what I'm looking for, the levels to the down, levels to the up, and how we could look for that breakout. If that sounds interesting to you, smash the like button. And yeah, I'll be more than happy to go through another alt here. If you, <laughs> if we fail to reach 2,500 likes, or you just want it quicker, um, yeah, obviously chartchampions.com, go through all the educational material as well as, you know, you get little bonuses like this where you get, you know, gold handed to you on a plate, so to speak. Um, so yeah, that, that, that for me was Tezos. That for me is the massive opportunities that have been presented here. So again, on these red days, these are the opportunities you have to admit, you know, do not get scared, do not get fearful, have the number one thing is have risk management in place, yeah? I myself got stopped out on things when, when price was dropping, yeah? I got stopped out of some of my alts, for example, when price was dropping, but I was getting stopped out in profits, yeah? Whereas what you have to remember, if you're getting stopped out in profits, it's very easy to focus then on the next trade because you have your capital available, you've been protected from the move down, and you're ready to take the next trade. Whereas if I had no stop loss, if I had longs, let's say, into a resistance, I'm instantly underwater, I had no plan, I had no risk management, I'm sat there frozen, scared, crying, depressed, upset. But no, <laughs> I was making use of the opportunities. <laughs> For example, on Sushi, we had a 30% bounce. <laughs> For example, you know, Algo, that then 100, I mean, it's just, I'm not going to go through it, it's just, it's just crazy, some of the bounces. But hope you've enjoyed this video, I really do. I hope you've understood the work needed. Remember, it was not possible to identify some of these trade setups without doing the prior work yeah this is over an hour long live stream of doing the work yeah if you are lazy if you are not doing you know the effort required you're not going to find the setups are you so it does require a little bit of effort it does require a little bit of hard work here but wow what can we say it absolutely pays off worth 100 percent certainty so i hope you've enjoyed this video thank you ever so much ladies and gentlemen and um yeah have an absolute Brilliant day. Well played, Mike. Thank you, everybody. Have a good day. And before I end, important to remember, I am not a financial advisor. This is just an educational entertainment video. And uh, so, yeah, do your own research, I suppose, at the end of the day on Tezos and all of it, because it's your money that you have to look after at the end of the day. I am not going to do that for you. So, uh, yeah, with that said, hope you've enjoyed. Thank you ever so much. And that's me signing out. Cheers.